It's my very great pleasure now to, uh, to welcome to the lectern uh, the Minister for Local Government, the Honourable Natalie Hutchins MP, to provide the Government's response to the jury's recommendations. Would you please welcome Minister Hutchins. Can I too begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, the Wadarong, and pay my respects to Elders past, present and future. And to say a very special thank you to Karina and Norm um, for their great welcome to country at the start. I'm not sure if anyone here has ever tried to play a didgeridoo. Uh, it is not easy. You need a lot of breath in your lungs and what Norm does is absolutely amazing to hold some of those notes. And um, I just want to acknowledge uh, what a wonderful asset he is to the Geelong community. Can I also thank all the jurors? Um, I'm going to go into that a little bit more, but those of you that are here today and, and those that couldn't be here today due to family and work commitments who gave up so much time to participate. To Ian Walker, the Executive Director of New Democracy, thank you for your very uh, succinct uh, explanation just then around the process. To Graham Emerson, the Executive Director of Local Government Victoria, thanks for um, emceeing today in particular and all your hard work on this. To my um, fellow MPs that are here, Christine Cousins, member for Geelong, who has been a very staunch advocate of this process. Um, to Andrew Kados, the member for South Barwon, Simon Ramsey, uh, the Upper House member for the Western region of Victoria. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and I know we have the CEO here of Greater Geelong, uh, Calvin Stiller. Calvin, thank you for being here today. Um, any technical questions along the way, Calvin? We're going to throw to you later on. <laughs> He's pointing to somebody else. So. Uh, it's so wonderful to be here and to celebrate the hard work of the citizens' jury. As Ian said, there is uh, other options government could have taken going down the track of asking Geelong uh, citizens what they wanted in a model going forward. Um, you know, there's always online surveys and there's always town hall meetings. But really, for such a big decision as this, of getting the model right for your uh, council going forward to ensure that that council can deliver the services and meet the needs of local residents, we needed to ensure we got this right. And I think, you know, it's, it's important to acknowledge that what we've done here is a first in Australia. Uh, we have, this has not occurred anywhere else before in relation to asking about the model of local government. Now, when we faced the really, um, really difficult p position that we were in, in receiving a report into the culture and the bullying that was happening in the Greater City of Geelong Council, in making that very hard decision um, before the Parliament to put the Council into administration, we acknowledged that there were real structural problems that contributed to those situations happening with the previous model. It was very evident that we needed to look at all of the aspects, all of the problems, and what the aspirations of the future uh, needed to be and what model needed to deliver that. And rather than, um, as being, has already been said, uh, bureaucrats or uh, consultants making that decision, we took the step forward to say, how about we go through a process of asking the people of Geelong what they think. And it wasn't just the 100 jurors, and I thank them so much for their time and dedication. It wasn't just them, it was um, thousands of people that filled out online surveys. There were written submissions by business and community groups. Um, there were guest speakers that were invited to present along to the jury. So it's not like there was just you know one or two pieces of input. There were thousands of pieces of um, information and input for the jury to consider and debate. And in having a very brief conversation when I received the report with a few of the jurors and, and listening to them speak, uh, in the circle that was formed um, upon the, the last um, or the second last meeting. Uh, there were many people, many jurors that said, I came into this room with a particular view. But then when I was presented with all the information, when I was given the time to debate, when I heard what other people had to say, I knew it was more about my whole community and what we had to deliver for the whole community. And I heard that coming through time and time again. And, and, and some people said that they changed their mind and then they changed their mind again and then they changed their mind back. And that's fantastic. That's democracy in action. When you get given all the evidence, when you get empowered 
to have the time to consider all of the all of the evidence, look at the facts, and then make your decisions. And I think, actually, uh, having the ability to argue with each other in small groups as a as a citizens jury, um, that then fleshed out a lot of the issues that needed to be dealt with. So I'm very, very excited today um, to say that um, I think this, this has been a very fantastic process. I know from um, the uh, process that was undertook that it took five hours to reach consensus just on the topic of the election of mayor. And uh, it was clearly um, that the, the uh, citizens jury were able to put a clear position in the end around that. And in terms of the feedback of the process of those that participated, all of the jurors um, completed a survey upon the, the end of, of the process. And 98% of the jurors who responded to the survey told us that their involvement was a worthwhile process. Almost 94% of the jurors also told us that they would participate in future engagement activities as a result of their experience on the jury. And I think that's a really powerful endorsement for the process. So what is the government going to do with it? Um, well, we've taken the, the report away and I did commit when I stood before the jury in accepting the deliberations that I would table an unedited version of the report in Parliament, which has been done. I take the outcomes uh, that were suggested that were deliberated by the jury to Cabinet and that has been done. And I'd also consider the aspirational recommendations, which were given a lot of time and focus at a particular Saturday in um, January. I would take those on board and um, provide a government response to those. So today is a big, big step forward. Um, and there is no silver, silver bullet. I've got to say, and I have said this um, um, on many occasions, that when it comes to the city of Geelong and the model uh, that should have been considered, there, there was no sil sil silver bullet. In fact, every uh, room that I walked into to have this discussion prior to this, um, the commencement of the citizens' jury, there would be, if there were 10 people in the room, there would be 10 different points of view about the future of the council. So in order to, to narrow that down, the fantastic work of the, of the jury has happened. And I'm happy to say that the Victorian government supports all of the practical recommendations that have been put forward by the citizens jury and we will be going forward with those recommendations for legislation in the parliament. So in detail, we support that the mayor is to be elected by the councillors and to serve a two year term which was the recommendation from the citizens' jury. And for there to be a total of 11 councillors elected uh, from across four wards, those wards being named the Ballerine Coastal Region, the Northern Region, Suburban Geelong and Central Geelong. We'll now put forward a bill uh, in the parliament and seek the agreement of the parliament to implement this decision-making process, these decisions and recommendations um, in time for, a uh, for the 28th of October 2017 election. In relation to the aspirational recommendations, um, there are many of those and I thank the jury for the time on those and we have responded in detail in the booklet that will be handed out around those. Many of those recommendations uh, go to the heart of changing the Local Government Act which is very timely because that's something that the government is in the middle of doing. So many of those aspir aspirational uh, recommendations can be incorporated through the changes uh, to the Local Government Act. So I encourage you to have a look at the, um, the outcomes and the detail in the booklet that will be handed out at the end um, to have a look at exactly um, where each of those sit. Um, the citizens jury has been an absolute catalyst for a new type of approach uh, to community leadership in Victoria and we know that local people trust local people and it's as simple as that. So there have been some naysayers uh, around this process. Uh, as I said earlier, we could have done something much simpler and possibly that uh, we've got to answer a lot uh, sooner, but it might not have been the right answer. And I'm really pleased that we've taken the time and we've put the consultation uh, at the heart of the citizens of Geelong and what you want. 
As part of our ongoing review of the Local Government Act, we'll keep hearing from communities across the state and we look forward to any feedback um, that the wider community might have on those changes. We know that people power has shone brightly here throughout this process and that sends a strong message um, to state government, to federal government and to other councils around Australia that when they're considering what is the best model for their council going forward, that perhaps they should go down this track of asking their citizens. I know that uh, there is already a lot of interest from other councils, there's already a lot of interest from interstate um, around how we do this and um, I'm going to say that the, the jury members are going to be stars in the future, that is, <laughs> they're already stars, but um, there'll be many jurors that are asked to come forward and talk about their experience for other councils to be able to pick up this sort of um, deliberative democracy that we've undertaken. So in conclusion, can I acknowledge the support and contribution also of New Democracy Foundation um, and Mosaic Lab, who actually undertook a lot of the facilitation, who managed this process with um, a lot of integrity and esteem, and to the community specialists that came in as well. Uh, can I thank you for your commitment, and I look forward to a really, really bright future for the City of Geelong. Thank you.